Hello everybody, this is Stringham here to conclude the semi-final round of the African Assault Tournament. Right. I gotta say, this tournament has flown by. I think this is going to be the quickest tour mini tournament I've done thus far. Well, except for like the Christmas specials and Halloween specials, which were basically one long video. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be a really quick tournament and we are already in the set. Well, we're already about to conclude the semi-final. So we will see Sukamimus, Ceratosaurus and the Creosaurus all go at each other for that third and final spot in the final three. So let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? All right, take two, because <laughs> I accidentally resetted the buddy emulator. But anyway, in the red corner, we have Mr. Sugaminus. Dr. Sugaminus. The crocodile mimic, looking to make it into the final. I, mean, I can't remember how it fared in the water tournament. I think it lost the first match. Or maybe it didn't, I don't know. Anyway, in the blue corner, we got the Ceratosaurus. Ceratosaurus. Also looking for last place in the final. But let's be honest, it, I don't think it matters which one of these three gets through. They're going to be underdogs. Because you've already got Eel Carcaria and Spinosaurus in there. Do you really think any of these dinosaurs is going to stand a chance? <laughs> like, Ceratosaurus would have the type disadvantage against the Eel Carc. I will say, Suko and the Creosaurus might, would have, would fare probably better. But, then you've got the big bugger that is Spinosaurus to deal with. Oh, and no, slightly tight. Boosh. That Super Mimus is going to get slapped silly. Boosh. Get out of here, you noisy little pervert. I'm going to slap you silly. I don't know where that came from. I just have a knack for just quoting random movies, okay? Well, Ceratosaurus demolished the Joe Borrier in the first map round, and so far, it's demolishing Super Minus. Oh, oh, there goes Super Minus. <laughs> and it's a 1 0 lead for Ceratosaurus. Wow, this Ceratosaurus is cleaning up thus far. Defeating Joe Borrier, maybe Ceratosaurus could be the Dark Horse. Right, let's move on to round two, shall we? Right then, round two, we're on the Earth Battlefield, as I like to call it. But we don't have Earth Dinosaurs in this matchup. It was quite difficult choosing which terrain favoured which dinosaur. Some were no-brainers, and some were a lot more trickier, because some of the fields are very similar. Like the, the beach and the sunset beach. I mean, it's practically the same thing, except the time of day is different. So that was a tough one to pick. Well, this this Serato is not stop. Oh my god, it's getting another hit! Come on, Super Magnus, get a hit on the board at least. Okay, well this is going to do damage because this Serato is heroic type. Hood said that weird, didn't we? Shippy, shippy, shot, trap. Boosh! Oh, maybe not. But Ceratosaurus continues to dominate. Hang on, did it get hit by Joe Borrier last in the first match? I don't think it did. Wow, Ceratosaurus hasn't even been hitting this tournament yet. Okay, now it has. Sukamimus finally getting on the board. Ooh, we're getting some Aqua Javelin nets. Can this be the comeback for Sukamimus? Ooh. All of a sudden. Oh, hang on, button time. Things looking interesting. Ceratosaurus not looking untouchable anymore. Oh, right in the neck. Ooh, an Aqua Javelin will end this. Okay, no Aqua Javelin, but Sukamimus in the lead. And Sukamimus has even the score. Well, um, Ceratosaurus was on a real wave of momentum, looking to blow Sukamimus away, but Sukamimus stood tall and fought back. And now it all comes down to this next round. Right. Ooh, we're on the volcanic field, I mean. It doesn't take a genius to figure out which dinosaurs will be favourable here, does it? Well, can Sukamimus continue its momentum it got in the last matchup, or will Ceratosaurus find his form again? Ooh, 
So Ratnosaurus gets the first hit. And a stun dash. Toosh! Ceratosaurus likes a quick start, doesn't he? Yeah, God, Super Minus, you can do it. Show them that you're just you're not just a crocodile mimic imposter. Show them what you're made of. Ooh, get a crit. Another triple headbutt incoming. It's like almost as big as the Ceratosaurus. Like, come on, come on, game. Ceratosaurus was not a little ratty thing. Alright, it was not the biggest carnivore in the world, but it certainly wasn't tiny. Like, how can you make Ceratosaurus tiny in this game? Yet, something like his Streptospondylus, which I think was actually smaller than Ceratosaurus, gets the big wind dinosaur animation. Well, who cares? Oh, Ceratosaurus is going to win it. Yeah, that's Ceratosaurus over the line. Sukumite must put up a fight, though. I mean, Yan Yan is going to make sure. But Sukumimus did put up a fight. However, Ceratosaurus holds on to get the win. And a crucial win it could be. All it needs now, when it takes on the Creosaurus, is at least a draw. As for Sukumimus, he's just got to hope. Well, first off, he's got to win his next matchup. Anyway, let's get on with that next max matchup, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, we got the return of the Ceratosaurus. Don't need to go through the moveset since you already know what it is. However, in the blue corner, we got a Decreosaurus. Decreosaurus looking to go one better this time in comparison to the Water Washout, where it was defeated by Bronthikins. Sigoi! But I do feel like this is a favourable matchup for Ceratosaurus because Ceratosaurus is heroic type. So that crit is going to do a lot of damage. But he has to get off that crit. Oh, that's a tie. At least I think he's the heroic type. Ooh, the Creosaurus starting off with a hit. Here comes the stomping hammer. Can he pound Ceratosaurus into the dirt? Oh, look at he tries to get it. Oh, look at the legs. Oh, oh it's horrific. That is horrifying. This is, he, he did the splits. I don't think his legs work that way. Oh, how is it? How is it? How is it walking? It's, it should be dead. It should just be dead. The Creosaurus showing no mercy. Brutalizing the Ceratosaurus, and he's now gonna drown it with a tragic sphere. Oh, but he doesn't kill it. Ceratosaurus clings on. Oh, and he gets a cheap clip, cheeky little hit of his own. Oh, oh no, no, no. Okay, well that was a tie, so. Ceratosaurus going dead. And it's the Creosaurus that wins round one. Ooh, Super Mimus breathing a bit of relief there. His tournament hope's not done yet. Right, let's move on to round two. Right then, round two, and we're on the beach at daytime. Can the Creosaurus deny Ceratosaurus a place in the final? Or will Ceratosaurus produce a comeback? Remember, all Ceratosaurus needs is a win or a draw in this matchup and he will go through. But if the Creosaurus wins, then gives himself a good chance of going through himself. But it's Ceratosaurus landing the first blow this time. Ooh, Ceratosaurus starting quick. Getting off a stun dash. Here comes the Segnosaurus. Boosh! Chop, chop, Some damage dealt there to Cryosaurus, yet to get a hit. Oh, he's dead. Well, Ceratosaurus, quick as the wind, blows the Cryosaurus away to even the score. 
down he goes. <laughs> Ceratosaurus on the brink of making it to the final. But, you know, the Creosaurus still in it to win it. So it all comes down to this deciding round. Right then, round three. Well, the third matchup. No, no, round three. <laughs> I got confused. I thought we were on the final match, but no. We're on the third round between these two. It, it, it basically all comes down to this. If Ceratosaurus wins or draws, he goes first. If the Creosaurus gets a win, then we then we go on to the final matchup between Suko and the Crit. And young Guirana. Ceratosaurus getting off the stun dash. Can he get the job done here? I mean, it'd kind of be a shame though, because it would render the, the next matchup kind of pointless, just like in part two. But let's be honest, the Spinosaur is dominated. It's not even a contest. It's just dominated. It, it was at a point where it was giving dinosaurs pity hits because it was just so much better than them. Oh, yeah, there it is. He's not going to survive this. Ceratosaurus getting the job done. Blowing the Creosaurus away and advancing to the final. Well, wow, that was quick, wasn't it? The Creosaurus falls at the semi-final hurdle yet again. As does Sukuminus. And it is Ceratosaurus that takes that final spot in the final three. So, we have our final lineup, ladies and gentlemen. But, we got one more pointless match to go through. So, let's do it. Right then, in the red corner, we got the Creosaurus bruised off his battering by the Sora off his battering from the Ceratosaurus. Taking on the Creosaurus, we have the Sukaminus, who is also bruised up from losing to the Ceratosaurus. Well, this is basically a pity match for these two because they lost and they, they will be going through. But we'll see which one can finish on a high. Because, like I said in uh, last session, people might like to see these dinosaurs in action. Oosh. Ooh, Super My Musket. Now, Water Sword go in. Didn't get out at all against the Rattlesaur. It's good. This is going to be a very enticing match because they're both pretty much equally strong. Although the Creosaurus being attack type does pack a bit more punch than Super Minus. But Super Minus got our resilience. Ooh, getting off an Aqua Javelin, I see there. Oh, I almost killed it. Almost killed it. Ooh, wait, has the Creosaurus snatched this first round? Oh, it ha oh, it's killed it. <laughs> wow. Wow, that was a really tight match there. The Creosaurus getting the 1 0 lead. Right, on to round two. Right then, round two between these two in the pointless match. You know, you can go ahead and skip to the, fun to the end bit of the video if you want. <laughs> Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll talk about what other plans I have for my future tournament. So, I talked about terrain advantage in the last session. I'm also giving type advantage um, a buff. So, I'm going to make type advantage more prominent. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. So, that's something for you to look forward to. So this, this field would obviously, I've decided that it favours grass dinosaurs. Because it's kind of like a meadow, you've got flowers, it's like a lot of greenery. It, it kind of fits grass dinosaurs. Um, I also had a plan where it would favour like one specific dinosaur type, but then not favour others. But that is still in the works. And oh wow, this Decreosaurus is getting creamed this round, but do not count it out yet. We saw, well, we saw it get off a crit, and that crit killed the Super, but not this time. Super minus, evening the score. 
Right, you know what that means? The pointless match is going to go down to the fight, to the deciding round. Right then, oh, we're back in the Alpha Arena. Bang. We are level pecking. Who can finish the tournament on a high and who can go out on a whimper? Well, both of these two have put up a good fight in this match, actually, in fairness. It's been a pretty good match. Good contest. And it's the Creosaurus landing the first blow. Oh, oh, here comes another Tragic Sphere. The attack is buffed as well. So this is going to do more damage than last time. Okay, yeah, I think Suko's probably going to die here. And the Kreosaurus looking like winning. And yep, there it is. Wow, that was really quick. The Kreosaurus finishing their tournament on a high. Suko minus kind of whimpering out. Right, enough said about that pointless match. Let's have a look at our final three. So, yep, there's the table confirming Soratosaurus's place in the final. And here is our final three. So we have Eocarcaria, Spinosaurus, and Soratosaurus all going at each other for the crown of King of Africa. So it's, just, it's, like a li it's like the Lion King, but it's not. It's the Dino King who will reign supreme in the African Assault Tournament. Find out as we conclude this tournament in the next session. And until then... This is Stranger Gamer, signing out.